a very special interview from the Scott County Public Library in Georgetown, Kentucky. I have with me artist Ed Bowden and his work will be in our upcoming gallery exhibit, Lens, Lines and Lineage. The opening of this gallery exhibit is Friday, June 10th at five o'clock. We hope you can join us and let's hear a little bit more about Ed. Ed, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Why don't you give us all a little bit of a background on you and your art and, and your life here in Georgetown since you've been well, here for a little bit. I'm just an old Kentucky boy, but from the hills of Campbell County, a little place called California where I grew up. Came to school here, graduated from here at Georgetown, taught school in the mountains for four years, came back to Georgetown in the public relations staff. And after eight years of that, I went into business for myself. Uh, I had a studio at 123 East Main Street for a number of years and then moved back out to my little farm on 460. Uh, I sort of introduced the outdoor portrait photography in this area uh, and that has been my biggest thing um, that I want to take a little credit for because it is a much more natural way of doing things, I think. And uh, I've always found little spots uh, one lady came in and I took her behind the studio there and there was a, some weeds and they kind of grown up and some was sitting on the back here. And, uh, I said, I want you to go in this little nest. You're not going to put my daughter in those weeds. I said, be quiet, let me do this. So this is my job. And they came back she says, I just couldn't believe it. But that's the purpose, I think, of being a photographer. You need to be selective. You can find little spots like that. Uh, and and uh, you don't have to have... In fact, I, I have only won one prize, one award on a vacation trip picture. Now I was in Switzerland and we spent the night up on this mountain and you can see out there this bridge that makes a beautiful S curve. <laughs> they had the glaciers in the background and the beautiful trees in the foreground. And but it was, it was dark, almost dark. So I said, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna get that, I got the prize hanging. What happened next morning? It's fogged in, you couldn't see 100 yards. <laughs> so, so much for that. Uh, the pictures that I have done best with are pictures that are around home where you see. And that's why I get so disgusted with people say, well, you ought to take good pictures. Uh, you travel and you got a good camera. The pictures that I'm showing in this show were made with a $100 camera. Uh, <laughs> that I just put in my pocket because in case I lost it on vacation, I wouldn't be out. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your night. trip, where you where you went. You were out, out west. Well, that was out west. We we went to, of course, we flew into Vegas, and then we went out to, uh, uh, what's out there? <laughs> <laughs> Utah, uh, Arizona. Uh, yeah, in that, that general area. This was up there. We went past Lake Mead. Well, it still was a lake. Uh, <laughs> That's right. And um, Cooper Dam, of course, the, the usual Tourist Usual spots, spots, yeah. But this was a, this Antelope Canyon is a slot canyon, and this was the highlight of the trip as far as I'm concerned. This was land that the good old whites left the American Indians because uh, it wasn't any good for anything anyhow, so let them have it. Well, it was a place where they really worshipped, and only certain days you can really get in there, and you actually have the feeling in there about like I had in the great cathedral of New York. That there was a spirit there. A and majesty you can understand to why, that too, why your were, majesty you know. to mm -hmm. just be in solitude. So uh, that was, uh, and it was summer after my wife passed away, and we had this trip planned. And my brother said, uh, "Come on, I'll go with you. Let's go." So I was glad I did. It was yeah. it was good for me. Yeah. yeah, and now we get to see these beautiful uh, photographs in our wonderful gallery exhibit. Well, We're very excited. I hope people that. appreciate them. Oh, I bet they will. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, any other kinds of art that you that you do. Do you do? No, just... I decorate the interior, but. Uh, <laughs> All right then. All I've right. never I've never considered myself an artist. I've tried to consider myself a craftsman. Craftsman. Okay. Uh, the art is, is, secondary. art is secondary. I consider well, Tony Leonard, who was a horse photographer here in town, uh, passed away, and he had no heirs, and he was having a show out at the, the Headley Whitney Museum. And I went out there and got talking to uh, the, the proprietor of the show, because I knew Tony fairly well. And uh, I said, uh, I have just thrown away all my files. And she said, why? 
I said, I don't want to be like Michelangelo and Casso, starve to death, and then when you die, somebody takes your work and makes money on it. <laughs> so that's kind of the way I feel about that. Uh, now, you've been in uh, Georgetown for many years. Yeah, Is I've there been a, a long specific time. part of Georgetown that you photograph that you, you return to or that you really like? Well, I've done things for the Chamber of Commerce and other uh, venues here in town, and uh, there's, there's lots of places. The creek is one of my favorite spots, and uh, there's many things you can do on the creek, and canoe, and uh, get out in the water. You can get on an Oster's Landing, and in five minutes you're in the country. Uh, you don't realize there's even anybody else around, and so it's, it's always nice. I, I enjoy the uh, nature of photography. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite camera that you, you usually use when you're not taking your <laughs> well, vacation camera? Well, no, uh, 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 I've used Nikons, Hasselblad's in the business, and Nikons uh, since all the... I just basically quit because I don't like digital. Okay. I want to see it. I don't want that little guy running around inside my camera doing things that I don't know <laughs> what's taking place. Uh, and, and so you're in the dark room. They've asked, room. They've asked the me to room. teach a class in town several times. I said, if you will set me up a black and white dark room, and a black and white and a larger room, I can show people what photography is all about so they can actually see it. There's some kind of magic when you see that picture, right. piece of paper, nothing on it, and you put it in that liquid, and that image comes out, you feel like you've created something. Amazing, uh, when you yeah. stop pressing buttons on a digital keyboard. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill Gates. Don't be don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Well we are so excited and glad that we get to see some of your works here. And once again it is called Lens, Lines and Lineage. That's the art gallery show that will be here at the Scott County Public Library with Ed Bones work, among others. And the opening is Friday, June 10th at 5 o'clock. We hope you can join us. It's going to be a great show, and these are wonderful artists, and you can come and meet them as well. So thanks for joining us, and thank you, Ed, for doing this little impromptu interview, and we'll see you at the opening. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.